Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Shono here. About to give you another Injustice Guys Among Us video. And this video we do the 10 Gear Booster Pack video number 6. As the Gear Booster Pack is currently 50% off. So from our first Gear Booster Pack we receive a LexCorp Exosuit, Suit, which is the first rare card I've gotten in a while. Unfortunately it's a duplicate. In the second Gear Booster Pack, we receive a Med Kit, which is probably one of the most common ones you can get. In the third Gear Booster Pack, we receive a Protection Amulet, which is utter garbage. In the fourth Gear Booster Pack, we receive a Black Ring. I can't remember if I have that or not. I'm pretty sure I do. In the fifth Gear Booster Pack, we have inside a second Black Ring. So, I didn't have it before. I sure as hell do now. In the 6th Gear Booster Pack, we have a Sorcerer's Mask, which is a very terrible one. In the 7th Gear Booster Pack, Azerathian Cloak, which I believe is Raven's Rare Cloak, which unfortunately is a second duplicate. In the 8th Gear Booster Pack, we have a Force Field Device, which is also a duplicate. In the 9th Gear Booster Pack, we have Combat Training, which is also a duplicate. And in the 10th gear booster pack, we have Steel Claws, which is finally a new gear item. So I guess save the best for last. I'm going to go into our collection. And Steel Claws, our Catwoman's Evolve, or Rare Gear card. 8% damage boost to Special 2, 30% more damage on crit attacks. And Evolved is a 35% crit chance on basic attacks. So these are awesome gloves for Batman Returns, Catwoman, for sure. So we're going to go and take our duplicates and shatter them, which is standard for all of our previous videos. So the Azerathian Cloak, 10 blue shards, 6 green, and 1 purple. And we get a bonus 3 blue and 2 green, so that's awesome. It means that we can evolve one of the items that I was looking at, the blue ring. We're going to also shatter the extra LexCorp Exosuit. You get 6 blue, 10 green, and 1 purple. And you get a bonus 1 blue and 2 green with that. So a lot of green shards there, which is awesome. Because that is a hard item to find. So we're going to shatter both of our black rings. 4 and 4. A bonus of 1 of each. So we get 10 blue and 10 green shards. So shattering both duplicate black rings. We do have an extra combat training. Shattering it gives two red and two blue. No bonuses there. We have a duplicate force field device. Blocking stops 5% damage. Two and two. Now we're at 98 blue, 38 green. The fact that we got more greens is awesome. Four green charts. Now at 42. And the Sorcerer's Mask will get shattered for four red shards. We actually need a couple of those, so I'll definitely take that. And the gear item I think I was actually upgrading was the Alloy Sword. So I could have sworn there was some... Oh, the Blue Ring. We're actually going to fuse the Blue Ring. And as you can see, now Heal Team 8% on Special 2 will be available for Red Sun Wonder Woman. So we're going to evolve this item. And now it is called the Blue Lantern Ring. And further improving on the team heal with every evolve and an additional half percent to blocking. And we can actually evolve that, but we're going to wait on that. We're going to go evolve our Alloy Sword a bit. As we need 10 red shards and 10 green. So we're going to fuse this one more time to get 1% more damage. And an extra 1% damage on crit attacks. So we're going to go and check out what gear can be improved with blue and green shards. And so far it doesn't appear to be anything. It looks like everything's taking red shards. And Azerathian Cloak does take blue and green shards. And that is one of the better power generation items as it improves by a half percent. We're going to look at LexCorp Exosuit as well, and that does also help with that. Unfortunately, that's more green. I 
going to look at more than likely doing the Icebound Necklace so we can actually use the power generation and some cards can benefit from that and actually that was the wrong one. Apparently it was the Azerathian Cloak. So we're actually going to fuse this a couple times. First promotion uses 5 blue, 3 green, 1,000 credits for a half percent return. Second rank is 7 and 4, so this is going up quite a bit, just like the Alloy Sword. Third rank is 3,000 credits, 10 blue, and 6 green. I'm actually looking forward to getting rid of some of these green shards. Actually getting rid of some of these blue. So the fourth evolved 12 and 7. And then finally 15 and 9, and we're going to have to stop there at Azerathian Cloak level 5. However, 11% power generation and 23% life drain for Raven is not bad. And there's some more gear that has power generation. The Crypt Knight Shard, which unfortunately uses green shards, so we can't up that. The Black Ring is a damage boost. However, Life Drain is not bad. We're trying to see what gear also has. Actually, the Steel Claws. Four red shards, four green shards, and 1,000 credits to up Catwoman's gear item. Force field device is blocking. Power symbols also power generation, but I could have sworn I had another item that affected it. It might be the Azerathian Cloak and Icebound Necklace. So we're actually going to form a couple teams here. We're going to go do bonus battle six, the final fight. What we're going to do, we're going to put in the Red Sun Trio. We're going to put in Wonder Woman first. Actually, what we're going to do, we're going to put in Insurgency Joker. We're going to put in Animated Harley Quinn. And we're going to put in Silver Green Lantern. Unfortunately, Joker doesn't have three gear slots unlocked. We're actually going to have to spend a little bit of credit and do that. Well, the Joker's got all of his gear slots. So we're going to take the Azerathian Cloak, which is power generation. We're going to take Icebound Necklace. And there was one other power generation item that was not insanely high level. Kryptonite Shard. I'm pretty sure that's the best power generation items that I have. Well, you can see 10.5% power generation, 18.5, and 23.5% power generation from gear. The Joker gets 40% from animated Harley Quinn and 25% from Regime Green Lantern. So we're actually going to give this fight a try, not knowing if we can actually do it. And we're going to look at the power generation increases. Well, you can see two hits pretty much gives the Joker one bar. That is just ridiculous. So we're going to go off the Let's Be Serious on Regime Wonder Woman. And this is the best use of power generation available. The Joker just gets sick amounts. Pretty Superman is in next. The Joker is just getting a ridiculous amount of power every hit he takes. Flying Punch connects. So we're going to go off another Let's Be Serious on the Joker. We're going to have to switch out. Probably at a Green Lantern, because he can actually take a couple hits. And then we're going to go off a heal. So Valor strikes for about 9,000. We're going to bash out Wonder Woman. Batman is in with a lunge kick for about 6,000. We're going to go off the team heal. The Joker is already at two bars, and we just tagged him out about 20 seconds ago. So another lunge kick on animated Harley Quinn. Joker is at three bars. So we're going to go off another Let's Be Serious on the jo on Insurgency Batman. Explosive Battery. We're actually going to take some hits. 
Just to show how ridiculous his power generation is. So we're gonna go off a fourth Let's Be Serious and Insurgency Batman is eliminated. Fifty-four thousand seven hundred seventy-one damage for the victory in our goof around power generation fight. Two thousand seven hundred thirty-two XP. Four thousand eight hundred thirty credits. So bonus battle six is completed. We're gonna look at Catwoman's rare gear card. We're gonna put in Batman Returns Catwoman. Catwoman. We're actually gonna equip her near new gear item, the steel claws. Eight percent damage boost to special two. 30% more damage on crit attacks. Unfortunately, she can't really do any crit, so unfortunately that's useless for her right now. But once we get that evolved, that's actually going to be really good as crit chance on basic attacks further makes this useful for Catwoman. So if you like this video on the 10 gear booster packs number 6, getting Catwoman's rare gear card, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe. Share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Injustice Guys Among Us videos, my playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood channel. And have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Channel. Subscribe, bitches!